What just happened? What did you do? What's that? Uh, that's, that's what I'd like to know. It's only ever been about me, about trying to be me. We are each other. A threat to one of us is a threat to us both. What are you doing? What do you believe? I'm having a bad day. It started when Bonnie denied me my Silas-like immortality. Of course, because Catherine Pierce can't be happy with good old vampire caliber immortality. I deserved it. I never had a graduation, a prom, or, you know, a life. But you did. You have everything. And it's not because you're a good little girl who deserves happiness. It's because you stole mine. I stole your happiness? You killed my brother. I'll admit, that was nasty. I have nothing. But I'm about to change that. <sighs> Kicking someone while they're down. Classy till the end, Catherine. <laughs> Your end. How are you? Good. Great. You know, same as you. Living the best life. That is amazing, Sabrina. Yeah, no, it is. Except for this pool of absolute darkness in the mines that's gonna consume Greendale and the entire world if we don't stop it with a light that's bright enough to banish it. Like, Morningstar bright? Yes, and I can't do it alone. But if the two of us can invoke the unholy power of our birthright, it might work. Will you help me? We are each other. A threat to one of us is a threat to us both. I'm putting this down. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. What are you? I don't want any trouble. I don't know what's happening. I would just like you to leave my house, please. You leave this house. In fact, what are you even doing here? I live here. I live here. I live here! Take it easy. Take it easy. What's happening? What's happening? That's, that's, that's what I'd like to know. That's what I'd like to know. That's what I'd like to know. The only thing I know is that I was upstairs with my wife. Well, your wife. And now I'm being attacked by someone who looks like me. In a diaper. Well, all I know is that I w went to a spa. I woke up in a grave. And then I walked barefoot for six hours to find whatever the fuck you are upstairs with my wife. I woke up in a spa, but then I went to work, came home, and now this. Spa. spa. Ben. Dad, you have to come with me now. You don't give the orders in this house. Dot, I know you have mixed feelings. You're thinking of getting the surgery, which I'll never allow. Because you never cut a girl in half, would you, Dandy? Shut up! Stop trying to ruin everything! How do you know, Dandy? About the surgery? I told you there will be no secrets between us. You read my diary. I want to leave. She can't leave without Bet. We're in love, and love trumps everything. Well, your mother said the girls could go anytime they want. Let's let them decide. Bet, I know you love me. Tell them you want to stay and live forever in luxury with me. <laughs> There's something wrong with Dandy, and you know it. I'm sorry. But I choose my sister, always. We have to go. That's the only trick you ever pulled. 
all our lives. You wanted everyone to think that you were the cleverer one, the big brain, but yeah. it's only ever been about me, about trying to be me. <laughs> you always thought too small. Not like you, right? Lucifer the rebel, deciding you can do a better job than dad. <laughs> you know, I wonder how you got that idea in your head in the first place. <laughs> right. That's your play, is it? Taking credit for my failed rebellion? Well, by all means, it's yours. Now, you see, that is the best part. All I did was plant the idea. You're the one who chose to do it. You still get to keep all the blame yourself. <laughs> Your lies are so tedious, Michael. Not as tedious as your denial. Because I'm not lying now, brother, and I think deep down you are realizing that. And once you realize that, you're gonna wonder, maybe it wasn't just the rebellion that was my suggestion. What else? What about your little sexcapade in the garden, or... Oh, your vacation here to Earth. That's impossible. Mm -mm. It was quite easy, actually. All it took was a little whisper here, a carefully orchestrated coincidence there, and your pathological self-absorption, of course. Voila! All your idea. This is nuts. We're in a void in the body of a white lady. Not a lady. Not a lady, darling. But we are white. Let's all say white people things. Billy Joel. I found it on Etsy. There was nowhere to park. Did you refill the Brita? I find this void quite calming, actually. It's like, this time the Xanax took me. Oh, I have the worst stomach ache. Dude, relax. Here, let me see if I can figure this out. Oh, wow, Eleanor, how'd you do that? I don't know, we're Janets now, so I thought we'd have some bitch and Janet powers. What just happened? What did you do? Sorry, I'm just trying to help Chidi The calm structural down. integrity of this void is already at risk. You can't start randomly conjuring up objects. Or it might shatter the void. Yes, it might. It might make everything blow up and we'll all disappear forever. Mm. So stop it! There you are. We were so worried about you guys. Explain. Oh, well, Mother Superior called, and your disciplinary meeting got pushed up, so... I had to be you. But never mind me, are you guys okay? Well, more or less. There was a bit of a hitch. Peter had to stay behind to create a diversion. Fiona, you can't feel bad about this. Yeah, it really isn't your fault. Well, then whose fault is it? We're back, Mary Cream. What's going on? I can explain everything. Which one are you? It's okay, Kev. That's Margaret, not Fiona. Stacy? Yeah. And that's Margaret? Mm-hmm. You sure? Let me prove it to you. That was really strange. 